Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In the previous video, I have shown you that how you could use the OpenAI Whisper AI model, which is automated speech recognition and translation to English. AI model supports over 100 plus global languages. And in the previous video, we have seen how we could use the command line utility through the Whisper library and perform the transcribe and the translate options. Whisper AI model is available freely and you can use this model in any of your application the way you would want as long as you are looking to recognize and transcribe or the translate source language to the English or in the original language. So I really wanted to show you the difference between the various model types such as tiny, base, small, medium and large and the difference between using the transcribe option and the translate option in between using the various models. So I created this video where I could show you through Python programming language how you can perform the various translate and transcribe tasks along with decode and the transcribe options are available in the Whisper Python library. No matter how you are going to use the Whisper AI model in your own language, these fundamentals are very important for you to understand. So this video is the precursor to the video where I'm just going to show you how you could create a Gradio based UI on top of Whisper AI model. This video is very important for you to understand the best way to apply the Whisper Python library to perform the various decode as well as the transcribe option while using the transcribe and the translate task for your Whisper AI model. So first I do have a very basic Python application or the started from the PyCharm template. The project name is OpenAI Whisper UI. I already created a data files folder and some of the mp3 and mp4 files I have already saved here. And in the main.py, just a basic template code Python. Here we can check that I do have a Python 3.10.4 environment. And the setup for the application to run is the main.py. Main and here is the configuration for our run and the debug for this application. If we just run or debug, actually I'm debugging right now and here is the PyCharm. So our code is running. And I do have the OpenAI Whisper installed in this Python 3.10 environment. So whenever I would be using the Whisper in our code, it will be available for us. So here is the Whisper library, which is accessible to us. So now looking into the code, we just need to make sure that at least we can get ourselves started. So we will use this code block we will create our method here. So after we have copied the code block, let's change this method so it's ready for us. So here we are going to try whisper model. That will be our method. That is what we will call here. And here we will say the type of method we would want model type. And that model type is going to be passed into the load model. And here we are going to use the content. So we can say data file is equal to os so we need import os and here we are going to use os.path.join so first we need the current working folder so it will give os.path.current directory and then we are going to provide the data files folder so that is our data files and finally we are going to use the file name so let's use the story.mp3 so all these three different parameters are going to build our data file and that data file will be passed into the transcribe method and that's where the result is going to be printed on our console and now we can put a breakpoint here and let's run this code because the model is already been downloaded locally in my local file system so as you could see that model object has been initialized completely and decoder and encoder they both are available next we are going to get the path for data file so here is the data file which is full path now we can transcribe it 
It will take few second to minute depending on the machine you have available in your runtime environment. Here, because I do have the Apple M1 MacBook, so that's why I'm seeing this warning. And in our real code, we will be change this whole code so that it supports the F or the floating point 32 to transcribe when using the Whisper AI model. The result has been collected. So here we could look into the result object. And here you could see that here is the text and the segment within the segment. Here you can find the timestamp and whole content is available. We can run this code looking into the console. Here you could see that whole text is available for the story.mp3. Now we can look into the decode option because we need to make sure the decode is also working. So here is our decode. Here we can create a new method called whisper decode and here is our method and here will be define whisper transcribe so we will be moving this code here so this is the model comma audio so that will be whisper transcribe and that is going to take the model and the data file similar to that we can actually use this whisper decode which is also going to take the model and the data file here is going to be model and also going to be audio we do not need these two model and audio rest code will be useful for us so we have created the whisper decode whisper transcribe and we are passing any of these option and here we can say choice so if you would want to use the decode option so that's the choice we are sending here choice and here we could say if choice is equal to decode run this else if if the choice is transcribe then run this otherwise do nothing so now we have created the decode and the transcribe so we are taking the model data file or we need to rather than data file we need to move the audio load audio so let me take this audio loading method here and passing the audio. That is a better option. There, there you go. Now we are perfect. And here will be the data file. Let's go to transcribe. We are correct. Let's go to decode. We are correct. Let's put a breakpoint here. And now we can start our debug option for the decode audio. At this point, we are padding our audio content for the 30 second segment. Let's go to next. So audio, if you look into the audio here, you are going to find the audio, which is a 48 K Hertz. And here is an array. And if you see here, these are the different blocks built into for the audio in the ND array type of segments. The next, we are going to detect the language of our given content. And at this point in the probe, you are going to get a list of all the supported language and their probability for being that language. Here so you could see the 99.7% probability for this input content to be the English. Rest of the other probabilities are also there. So this method gives the, the maximum probability for a given item. And that's where we are going to get the output is going to be the English because English has the highest probability, the max of given probabilities. So we know that our detected language in English. Now we are going to set the decoding options. So decoding options, let's go next. And at this point, we can look into our console and then when the decode is going to happen, let's run it. And we have seen this error, which is the could not initialize NNPack reason unsupported hardware. And that error might happen on certain machines. It may not for everywhere because I am using the Apple MacBook M1 machine. So I'm, I need to make sure that I pass the proper options here, decoding options. So to fix this error, we need to set up our options here. Let's look into the decoding options. Here we can look into FP16. By default, it is set to true. So let's make sure that we set it false. So now we made sure that whenever we are going to use the decode option, we need to make sure FP32 is used. Let's run the code again when we will put a breakpoint here. Actually, we should put breakpoint here now because we already know that it's going to hit here. And if error happens, we can see quickly. 
language is detected. Looks like the decode option is running. We did not see any error. Okay, the decode ran. Now we have the result. We can look into the result. Here you could see that there are audio features built into. We can also look into the text. That was the result. And here are the tokens. So decode and the transcribe, they are two separate options. And we can see the result now. In the console, you could see the similar text was created similar to the transcribe. Now we need to make sure we have better understanding of when we are trying to perform the decode option, what is the difference between the transcribe and the translate? Because the options are either transcribe and the translate. And it's better for us to let's see the result on command line first. Here we are using the story.mp3 with the base model and performing the transcribe using the whisper command. The language is detected as English. And if you remember just few minutes before we have fixed the error in our application and the reason i was able to get a very quick idea is that by looking into this line it shows that it's using fp32 so i thought if fp16 is used as true so it means by setting fp32 should be the solution to the problem and that's what it worked and as you could see the result is generated for the transcribe so here are the results which are generated for the transcribe when we have used the story. So this is the English source language. So that's why the transcribe happened. What if we would want to use the translate? So in order to translate, we need to find the language should be non-English. So we can get the source language to translate into the English. And for that reason, I would be using the Bharat.mp3, which is the Hindi as a source. And we would want to use the translate into the English and by using the same library with this model let me show you the results and here you could see that I'm using the transcribe with the Bharat which is the Hindi input so language is Hindi and here is the transcribe happening where the language is as as it is the transcribed into the Hindi and next when I use the transcribe option with the same source but the model has been changed now you see that the same thing has been converted into the hindi real text in the transcribed option so that's how you can get an idea that how quickly by changing different models your results will be different now in current examples we will use the same bharat but we are going to use the translate here and see how results are updated so here I will be using the translate and our source will be the bharat.mp3 and we are using the base model. We will use the both base as well as the medium because here we have checked the bharat.mp3 with the transcribe with the two different models base and medium. So now we are testing the bharat.mp3 with the translate option first base and then second medium. Now you could see that when using the bharat.mp3 as a Hindi source language with the translate and the base model, this is what we are getting the translated result, which is very different than transcribe with the base model. As you could see here, this is the base model translate. We are getting the Hindi is totally translated into the English language, but the quality may not be improved or the better. So if we will use the medium model, we might see a better quality translation. So let's use that medium model now, run it. The translation has been completed using the medium model for this Hindi source MP3. Same thing happened earlier with this base model, but the quality is in front of you. Here you could see the quality is far better for the translation when using the source language. Our source was exact Hindi, but our translation is all English. So using the OpenAI Whisper model, you can actually perform the translation from all supported languages to the English only. That's the only thing you really have to make sure you understand. If you would want to convert from Hindi to Japanese, then you would need to use the uh, no language left behind NLLB model from Facebook as well. But as long as you get this idea, that's what my objective is in this video. Now we can also change the option decoding option here by default, which is the transcribe to the 
translate so task will be translate here so we can say not only this our next option is translate so we are using these two options and then the translation will be available for us and in the translation source language could be anything supported by the library itself so the source language could be any of these but the translated output language must be english only by default now we can put a breakpoint here and we can run this code again for this example our model is base language is detected and even with the translate the answer would be the exactly the same from english to english now let's take a look at the results here you could see the text which is the translated text based on our given language now rather than using the language which is a story we could change through bharat and run this code again breakpoint is here as you could see the detected language is hindi look into the result and the transliteration is given based on this language let's which is still the english let's complete it make this code to medium run this code again here with the medium model the translate option based code is performed let's look into the translate here result and here you could see that our results are totally changed which is based on medium model and here you could see india is a very important country it is fortunate for us that india is an important country so what we can do we can actually take this translated data copy the value and we can come into the terminal paste here and just leave it here so now we know that this is what this was the translation which was based on medium model as debug completed go back to base and see what was the result with base just run it we will get that output into the command line here is the output let's come back to the terminal paste here now we can see the comparison this is what we have seen with the medium model this is what we are seeing into the base model india's kingdom in delhi rather than capital it is fortunate it is very common thing india there are 30 states in india he say india has a third kingdom so you can get an idea that difference between the models is very important and the output between the transcribe and the translate is also very different so make sure that that is the key understanding you can take from this video so after this video now i'm sure that you have very good understanding of using the whisper python library for the decode as well as the transcribed function when you are performing the decoding you have option to perform the transcribe or the translate task and i'm sure that now you have that understanding as well so this video is going to be end here and in the next video whatever we have learned in last two videos we are going to build our ui on top of whisper ai model so thank you so much for your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video until then thank you so much